How's it? How's it? Hey, Luz. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. Have you been before? Mongoose Max Hawaii. <laughs> the channel. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Just gonna get a little hang of the OBS Studio still. Um, I'm not in a rush today. <laughs> And it's Super Tuesday. That's right. It's Super Tuesday. Which is kind of dumb. Because it's about to set right now in the morning in the middle of the Pacific, North Pacific. It's about seven hours or so until they close their bowls. So it's about seven hours of talking heads giving political opinions. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you just sit there logically think about it. I mean, actually, the Constitution. God, why do we rely on the Constitution? It's being wormwooded. Um, the Constitution guarantees a private, secret ballot. That's why you go into the ballot when. Back you, off. Back off. When a person goes into the ballot booth, it's they have the little little flag, you know, curtain. It's secret. So you don't have to tell anyone. No one needs to know who you're gonna vote for. You can just be totally mm, just look at everything, think about it, and go, huh. Eh. I think the important thing is yeah. to vote. And that's the whole institution of voting is very important. I mean, that's what makes democracy. Well, that's one big gigantic factor. We choose our leaders. And when it comes into the part where we're not really choosing our leaders, it's being forced upon us. That's a type of fascism, forcing it. Force makes right. Might makes right is fascism. And uh, I don't know. You look in history, we all know where that gets us. Right, Putin? <laughs> so anyhow, uh, yeah, it's good to have a uh, um the it's just the primaries. Who's gonna be on the ballot for the general election come November? So it's seven hours and I don't know. Um, seven hours and nine months or something. So, it's just, it's just, it's stupid Tuesday is what it is. It's stupid. It's like, uh, do I watch all that stuff or? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, my sister's off for a procedure and the medical thing, nothing serious, but, uh, it's kind of quiet over here. Yesterday I went, whoa, I did take my mom to two different places. So I'm transporting uh, yesterday, so I'm good to sort of do nothing. My friend Michael's going to go over to uh, film school stuff. So he's going to borrow a little rig. And this little kind of, I was kind of having this little rig. I was getting these little pieces and parts to kind of maybe go ghost hunting. And, well, someone can put them to good use for a bit. Let's get to see if they work with someone. Anyways, let's just see. I mean, I think I got this going here. I I I, I don't know. It's let's let's go see what's in the news room. Let's not make it long. It's a landmark donation. Okay, what do we got going on here? Philanthropists are giving Isle Medical Facility 150 million dollars because nothing like a good hospital. <laughs> oh gosh, where is this? Okay, it's um uh, the gift. I just. The giant gift, Hilo Medical Center. Okay. Highland building regulations drive prices up. Okay. Yeah, pass the pass the price off to the consumer. What's on the What's on the sports? Baseball. Ah. <laughs> Basketball. The uh the um what do you call? The guy is gonna win. Um the game. 13 for volleyball. 13 straight wins. They don't have nothing on that. 13 straight wins. <laughs> and now they're going to have this conference of uh, a little tourney. Volleyball tourney. Or 
over here with the big, big players. So you would probably fall in the league for, oh, what's going on here? Oh, we're throwing it within it. Hey. Oh, just go a little back in the day. One of these, right? Oh, remember when it relaxed, you just kind of go back and remember 1965. You, you need to unwind and uh, you go to this guy's uh, creepy basement and look at his negatives. I remember film, I remember film negatives. I learned how to do black and white uh, development in high school. Black and white, that's it. Think of color. The film. Up here. Actor. Oh my gosh, it's actor Max von Sydow. That's Max von Sydow. He's, he was an oh, exorcist. Let them go. The power of Christ go. compels you. It's Max von Sydow. Part of the cast of the star-studded film Hawaii examined movie footage with the film direct editor. Hmm. I mean, yeah, the director doesn't. The editor has those little slices. And actors, blah 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 blah, who played Kiyoki. <laughs> and Elizabeth, who played Neo Neolani. Oh, see, it's Kyoki and Neolani. And there's Max von Saito. Speak. Speak. He was in a creepy film called The Seventh Seal, and he was only like about twenty-something years old. In the this black and white film. Medieval knight goes through the plague. Not very COVID. <laughs> goes through the plague in the Middle Ages, and uh, he's just traveling through the thing with all this devastation. And he comes across death, and he, death and he plays chess with it. Are you scared? Death. I'm inside it. It's all okay. You got all talkative. The ghost box just went haywire when I went Middle Ages and plague. Max von Sydow's in that movie. He looked just as old then as he did when he was like really old. Okay. Oh wow. That's not very nice. No, it's just... Listen to me. Why? Uh, road work begins in my... Oh, there's like flooding, as you can see in the thingy. Uh... We have flooding over here. There's just all kinds of weathery things. Oh, look, political cartoon. Dinosaurs for asteroids. Mice for cats. Chickens for foxes. Because there's chicken. Women for Trump. Ah. I get it. Oh, why are you for this guy? I just don't know. Okay, and um, here we go. A little finger on the pulse. Women need to be heard and reproductive right. This is articles like, and all those articles were written by men. And this one of these written by men. That's all that is. Tourists don't respect. Oh, what the kind did these be? Not much going on here. So we're just going to um, add illegal rental crackdown. Let's do this one. Oh gosh. Separation of church and state. Vital to democracy. This letter is a response to the excellent article. Christian nationalism is on the rise in the US. What is it? By David French. Site article February 28th. US House Speaker Mike Johnson is a self identified adhering to the new apopalistic <laughs> apopalistic reformation n a r with its theology of dominionism n a r believes that christianity should rule over all the aspects of society identified in the seven mountain mandate uh, as what <laughs> as religion government education business, arts, entertainment, media, and family. Hmm? I guess those are the seven mountains. Art and entertainment, media, is a mountain. The NAR also believes that the election of Donald Trump will make it possible for its adherents okay. Okay, to take control of the government. A Christian theocracy will replace democracy and the honored legal tradition of the separation of church and state will no longer be the principle governing religious freedom in our nation. My question is this. If Trump were asked about his views on the separation of church and state, would he even know what he is talking, being talked about, talking, what he is being talked about? 
What is being talked about? Okay, Neil. Okay, thank you for talking in Tutu voice, eh? And messing out all. You messing up. What happened? What happened to you? Messing up. Okay. Speaking of messing up, <laughs> what happened to this? I pushed the wrong button. Wait a second. Okay, just just go for there. What's wrong with this? <laughs> okay. Separation of church and state. Hmm. I don't know about him, Trump. Ooh, God. But uh, I learned about that stuff and civics, civics and stuff, stuff like, like that, like and that. took and some, some political science and university, university status, status level. level. I'll tell you. You know, it's like Frank Zappa. You know. I'm not to move into Montana, Mon uh, uh, Frank Zappa. He was very politically activated and a very intelligent person, actually, and he spoke out about stuff. And one of the things he points out is this government, the U.S., is moving towards, he fears, a fascist theocracy. Fascist theocracy. Now that's bad. That's like Ayatollah Khomeini. <laughs> that's like the Pharaoh says all, and all is under the Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh is a god. This is fascist theocracy. Might makes right, so they're gonna push it. You don't get to choose. No choice now. You don't have no choice anymore about it. It's a fascism. And theocracy, it's ruled by religion. Religious principles is what's the government. So that's bad. And he was saying that, Frank Zappa was saying that when Ronald Reagan was president, and he was so strong, he, he went for many years as president. And the religious right, because he had them on, on his side, the Christian religious right, because USA, and the religious right, when it becomes a national movement, it's like like a giant voting block, so it starts to make policies, like it's doing now, a little bit. That's a theocracy. So the separation of church and state is, well, we want to, you can choose to believe whatever you want to believe, and all religions are open. You can you can choose whatever you want to believe in. That's fine. Much like old ancient Rome did. You can do that. Just, just pay your taxes. And uh, you can't favor with the government and the institutions. You can't favor one religion. You can't make Christianity the national religion. That's a wrong in the separation of church and state. But the abortion is such a big issue that bam a lot of people would want that to happen they want to nationalize laws against um abortion because thou shalt not kill and uh, even little test tube babies <laughs> where is this going but fiat think of ayatollah homene <laughs> that's what it turns into um yeah but um i don't know about his uh n-a-r in the Seven Mountains, so that sounds like something out of a New Age. I don't think New Age is going to take over. But it's, it's like like Christian groups getting together and voting how they want to vote is totally fine. You know, they want to promote the issue of, you know, freedom of choice. No, they're going to promote the issue of let's have abortion, right? Um, I mean, uh, I come and go. let's have abortion um, banned. They're, they're, if they, they vote for the candidate that has that position, stupid. That's stupid. It's all stupid. It's fine. It's a political issue, and we're not talking about political issues here because there's a certain base that wants to take over. And um, it's in that far right Republican area. It's like the poor Republican Party is gone. It's been shattered, and um, maybe they should reform their, uh, a new Republican Party. I don't know. Anyways, it's all secret ballot until it's not. So I just relax and do nothing now. Oh. What is this? What is this? I don't know. What is this? Okay. Um. So let's just go. Aloha. It's really rainy. <laughs> it's dark. It's a dark and stormy night. Aloha. It's a dark and stormy night. Oh. Look. 
Aloha to you. Aloha.